Alright, yeah. Uh, we'll have more time later for fellowship and talking and uh, and we'll have dessert and stuff. But we're gonna have some uh, I'm sharing with you also we're gonna sing some Christmas carols, but this is a wonderful time of the year. And uh, I enjoyed saying Merry Christmas to many of you coming in because I like to say Merry Christmas. Uh, do you know how the sheep in Mexico say say Merry Christmas? Feliz Navidad. <laughs> what did uh, Adam in the Bible say on Christmas night? It's Christmas Eve. What is the difference between uh, the Christmas alphabet and the ordinary alphabet? The Christmas alphabet has no L. No L. Are these groaners or what? All right, so uh, I just had some uh, informal uh, sharing uh, tonight, and um, because it is uh, Christmas, it's really great to have uh, most of the folks here from uh, Living Water all together for this kind of thing. I don't think we've ever done that. Usually we're separated into fellowship groups or we just see each other at church and stuff, but I, I hope that we can be... Have, uh, I hope things like this can foster a greater sense of uh, uh, identity within the, the Chinese Christian Church. That this, the Living Water Ministry uh, and English-speaking uh, worship is, a, is a, a distinct thing and a special thing uh, for all of us. Uh, when I thought of uh, the fact that it was possible to have it in our home, I thought of the book of uh, Philemon, where uh, Paul uh, wrote to him. And uh, I just read you this verse. This is not a sermon. You don't have to get Bibles out or anything. This is long here. But Philemon is only a one chapter uh, book in the Bible, New Testament. That's why it's so hard to find sometimes. Philemon. Before, before Hebrews. Before Hebrews. Philemon. It's just one chapter. No. Just 25 verses, and that's it. But anyway, this says, Paul writes, uh, he says, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our dear brother and fellow worker, to Aphia, our sister, to Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church that meets in your home. And so, they had a small church. Uh, it was a, this is Colossae, Colossae, a small church. They can meet in a house. Okay, so uh, we're a kind of a congregation within a, within a church, and uh, we're small. We can fit uh, in there, and yet we continue to want, uh, by God's grace, to also grow. And so it's interesting that later on, I just keep on reading. He says. Uh, I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers because I hear about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints. And so he talks about this quality of Philemon that there's a faith and love and love for each other. And I think that one of the wonderful things about uh, our church fellowship is that there is a great deal of, of love and faith and uh that's, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, then he says, at, right after that, he says, I pray that you may be active in sharing your faith so that you will have a good understanding of every good thing that we have in Christ. So uh, while he compliments him for his faith and his, his love, he says, I, I pray that you'll be more active in sharing your faith. And one of the things that uh, we want to engender more in the, the living water ministry is being active in sharing our faith in whatever way uh, we can do that. And one of those, one of the ways that is to invite other people, and that's why I gave you the little uh, booklet of uh, cards, so that you can uh, do that, because that's probably one of the 
most effective ways that newcomers come to our service, they can hear uh, the gospel. And I do want to be more uh, more frequent in uh, doing that in our our services. And so uh, this is something important. I hope that you'll, you'll take these things to heart and really take them with you and take opportunities to do that. I think one of my faults in the past is that I've encouraged people to invite their friends. Well, your know, friends or people you're close to, you kind of run out of them. You know, there's only so many of them. You can invite anybody uh, to our worship service. Just like I told you, that guy in, in Branson, I, I happened to be reading my Bible by the pool and he came by and said, hey, why are you reading the Bible? I'm a Christian. And we talked talk a little bit. And then, you know, he got the card out and said, I'd like to invite you to our church. So it's that easy to do and can be effective. God can, can use that because in that context, uh, they can hear uh, about the Lord. And this is connected to Christmas because uh, it's okay to give the Lord yet, right? No problem. Uh, I'm sure that Philemon in, in the church they had in the house, you know, they give the Lord to. Doesn't bother me. Anyway, so uh, this is the, the angels appear to the shepherds uh, to, to tell them about the baby Jesus being born. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. And so uh, the, the good news of Jesus is for, for everyone. And, if, and you don't have to be you have to be your best friends to invite them uh, to church uh, or to uh, also talk to them about uh, Christ. Because as we said here, uh, the good news is for everyone. And then later on, uh, they say, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that's happened the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. And so you can see that uh, because they their connection with Jesus, they were willing and ready to share that word with others. And the later on it says, the shepherds return glorifying and praising God for all the things they have heard and seen, which were just that they have been told. So I'm encouraging us to uh, be like the shepherds, uh, to spread the word uh, to others. And uh, so and another uh, verse in a, in a parable that uh, Jesus gave, this is in Luke uh, 14, and this is the uh, parable of the great banquet. We're having a banquet here, right? So uh, I'm just going to, I can't give all the explanation of the time for that, but uh, there were people saying they didn't want to come to the banquet and making excuses. And the master told the servant, go out to the roads and country lanes and make them come in or compel them, another translation, so that my house will be full. So God wants us to encourage other people to come into his kingdom. And one of the ways is to actually uh, come to uh, church, because that's the way that we hear the gospel. Also, I want to uh, just encourage people to come on, consider coming to our Sunday school class starting in January, which is at 9.30. Maybe you're not used to coming at 9.30, but it's going to be uh, some training in how to share the gospel with other people. And so it's something that... Uh, we haven't done a thoroughly uh, in the, the English ministry, I think it could really be a big help to learn how to do that, how to talk to somebody about, about Christ. And so, uh, with God's help, uh, we're going to move in that direction, and so I'd like you to just pray, prayerfully consider to come uh, in January to the place we have in the South House uh, about how to share our faith. So, that's my little... Uh, Meditation on Christmas. Christmas is about not just uh, if we love Jesus and, uh, and, and are so grateful to Him, but also we want uh, others to, to, to know about Him. So, uh, with that, we're going to sing some Christmas carols. Okay, that's the end of my story. So, uh, just uh, pass these out. Hopefully, uh, the, the font isn't too small uh, that everybody can uh, see. Get one of these. Thank you.